Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Pisces. So if you have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Pisces, this reading could resonate. And if so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay, guys, before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator. Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Lae, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces and or cross watcher, dealing with the Pisces. This is the message that I have for you. Okay, what it looks like, Pisces, um, is that someone is being blocked from you. I keep getting this blocked. I just did a, a reading about being blocked with Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign. I do see swords in the, um, in your spread, but, um, somebody we have in your first row, we have the strength card. We have strength, two of swords, two of swords, um, 10 of pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Cups. All right, what it looks like is somebody is trying to like temper themselves, control themselves because they feel a lot of emotion for you. And they've been wanting to give you a love offer with the Page of Cups. A small offer, but something that you not, you not, that you, um, I was going to say, you know, that um, you guys could start with, an offer to start with, see where it goes. But they're blocked. They're blocked because they're either going through a divorce or they're just in a very bad marriage or relationship. Ten of Pentacles is usually like um, a marriage card, but it could be that they're in a long term relationship with someone. So they can't really see you. They can't see how they can bring you this offer when they're like looking at this breakup divorce that they're going through. OK, um, let me see. What's at the. Uh bottom of the deck. Oh, three of cups is at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So that's like, um, someone who is lying, um, who has sort of like libertine behaviors, meaning like they, they like to party a lot, maybe drink a lot, um, could have sex, you know, with people, whoever they feel like having sex with at the top of the deck, three of swords, three of swords. Now, I don't know if that's your energy, Pisces, or the person who wants to offer you something. I don't know if that's what they're going through with their partner, okay? Um, but that is an energy surrounding your reading. Um, in the second row, we have the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and that Hierophant was in the reverse, guys. And then the two of cups in the reverse. So this is definitely to me a marriage because we got the ten of pentacles in reverse. Then we have the hierophant in reverse. And that's talking about like commitments. To me in this reading, he, the hierophant is coming in to talk about like this bad commitment. But then we have the ace of pentacles. Now this ace of pentacles paired with this two of cups would tell me that the relationship that you should be a part of or that this person wants to give you would be very, very, um, like the friendship between the two of you would be very deep. It would be um, very sexually satisfying. And um, like if you guys wanted to be business partners, it would be a very um, prosperous like union, you guys coming together. But what's in between you having that is this queen of... Um, cups in the reverse. So somebody has some codependency. I don't know if it's the person that wants to come to you or it's their partner. They could have a very codependent partner because, um, or they're codependent on something in that relationship because 10 of Pentacles is telling me money is involved. Okay. So it could be money. Um, and that the 10 of Pentacles in reverse is sitting over the queen of cups in the reverse. And what that's doing is stopping this union, which is the reason why the two of cups is in the reverse. Yeah, it could be talking about their relationship ending, but I feel like I feel like that two of cups is about you and and the person who wants to give you the offer. That's not happening because of their own issues within the marriage that they're having. Um, bottom row, we have the 
the ace, the ace, the um, page of swords in the reverse, the six of wands in the upright, the four of uh, swords in the reverse, and the um, hangman in the upright. <sighs> so, what that's looking like, this uh, other partner who your person is dealing with is very, very um, manipulative and spiteful. And they they don't want you and this person to have a victory or, you know, the person that you want to be with. Their partner does not want them to have any kind of victory with you, okay? Because that's what it would be. If you two were to get together, this sits right... Um, beneath the ace of pentacles in the upright these two cards in the upright it would be a it would be a victory um below that is the four of swords in the reverse now what that's telling me is either that karmic partner is is going to get ill or sick or that relationship could be making your person sick because the four of swords says if somebody doesn't stop doing something it will make them ill Okay, and then the last card as your outcome is the hangman, meaning somebody needs to have a perspective shift or somebody's left feeling suspended, like in in pause mode or something. Um, yeah, Pisces. That's what I got for you. I, I would say the thing is. You don't have to deal with this person if you don't want to, but I don't even think this is about you dealing with them. See, okay, because so look, underneath the three of swords is the eight of pentacles. So either because this is going on, you have decided to focus on your work or after this person has been cheated on, all they wanted to do was focus on work. Like, Focus on the pinnacles, focus on the pinnacles, and not focusing on love. Because there is a uh, will of fortune, there's good fortune. I believe this fortune is for you, Pisces. You, you are stepping into a new cycle, so you might as well focus on your work. Yeah, somebody's not having a, a new start. Somebody's not having a new start because they're, they're not moving on from the past. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Pisces, if... um, I can't tell. Because there's three energies here. There are three energies. And it's harder to, to read when it's three energies. I, you got to find out who you are in there. But um, I will say focus on your work, Pisces. Focus on your work. If, if you are looking to have something with this person and um, it's not happening. But... The thing is, the reason why I, I'm feeling like it's coming up, Pisces, you can have your own options and you just probably need to be aware of um, that there's somebody who wants to give you something that could be deep, could be long lasting, but they're held up. But I don't see you really, I don't really see you in this reading. So you could be focused on your work. That's what I'm thinking. You can be focused on your work or focused on something else. I mean, I don't know if you're not thinking about love or maybe you have options and it's whatever, but there is someone in particular that can't give you an offer because they're held up in a relationship or divorce or something like that. But if that that's what I have for you. <laughs> you know, it's a weird love reading because it seems like more about this other person more than it is about what, what you um, are doing or the role you play in there because I don't even really see the role you play it's just what's happening to them. So if there's a Pisces out there that needed to know this, this is what I have for you, okay? So if this reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or hit the notification bell. Um, that way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com.